okay, so we're out and about. Our goal today is to get this baby out. So we are first gonna stop and get some food. We are at one of our favorite places, Vaughn's. Um, I heard greasy food can help get the baby out. At this point, I'm doing anything. Anything that people say, I'm trying. So yeah, we're gonna go in there, have some burgers, and then we're gonna go walk around the mall again. We went yesterday to walk around the mall, but today is the baby's due date. So we're gonna try our best to get him out. I told you guys I was having contractions the other day and like really intense like contractions for like the whole entire night and then when I woke up the next morning they had kind of like weaned off and stopped. I still get them but like not very consistent and nowhere near as bad but even though they're painful that's what gets you into labor so we need those to get picking back up so we're just about to walk and walk and walk and walk and walk and hopefully this boy comes because I'm sick and tired of this. I want to meet him. Like the anticipation is the worst part because you're like, okay, I'm like, am I hours away from meeting him, days away from meeting him, weeks away from meeting him? Like, what's the deal? And it's his due date, so he needs to come. Chat. Chat. The baby is coming today for sure. No, if fans, no bust, no baby. This baby. My coming. mom said you're. My mom said. Uh, she said there's no way. She said that's a really fast labor to make happen. To baby to come on his due date. Yeah, because. Once water breaks, basically 12 hours after that is usually when the baby's born. Oh. So she's like, you guys gotta make it happen like right now. Right now, okay, let's go eat this food. You know what I'm saying? And then let's go walk, with, let's let's go get our steps in. You know and get, a, get him out. he wants us to go so that's what we're doing up here we go let's go to fuego he's not letting me go to any of the stores because he thinks i'm going to get sucked up in there and not do any walking <laughs> you guys we're still walking trying to encourage this baby gently encourage this baby Careful, hold the rail, please. I'm trying. Thank you, thank you. I'm trying my best. He has to get out, but he's not getting out. And they had to come outside because it's so hot in the mall. They're like heat boxing us out. It is pretty hot in there. I think because it's so cold out here, because it's so brick. Because it's so brick outside, I mean, yeah, because it's so brick outside, they have it like crazy, 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 crazy hot inside the mall. It's like what, 16 degrees out here. So while she cools off, she's gonna take some, a couple laps up and down the stairs, if that's what you would call it, a couple laps. Uh, and then we're gonna go inside the mall and then we have massages later, so. Hopefully this baby comes. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, I literally look like a mess. <sighs> it is four o'clock in the morning and I have been having just, oh my gosh, the most painful, but still. So, we're still sick. We're like at the tail end of it, so it's not too bad, but um, Jay took um, some NyQuil last night, and I'm trying to just like let him sleep out his, just like recover the best he can, because if I can't be recovered, at least like he can, um, <laughs> and at least someone could have some energy. I look crazy because I've literally been up. Like I haven't slept, I feel like more than like maybe 30 minutes total because I'm waking up every 10 minutes with you guys. It is excru like it is excruciating. <laughs> oh, I like I can't even describe the pain. I'm like the fact that it's only going to get worse is so It's just so wild. It's so wild that women have to go through this. It just blows my mind, but whatever. Anyway, sorry I sound so ill i'm gonna try to take my mind off of things and go shower because like i just was like laying in bed and just miserable so i'm hoping like maybe i'll have some snacks hop in the shower and maybe that'll just kind of like take my mind off of like it a little bit i was trying to just sleep in between contractions because that's what they tell you to do but it was just not working at all like i just was like anticipating the next one and just yeah it's not it's not cute so jay asked me to bring him some water i'm gonna go make him a little bit of water i feel fine now it's crazy because like in between contractions you literally are perfectly fine it's just for one minute you're in like the worst pain of your life and then it goes away <laughs> and i can like literally do anything he just needs a cup of water um for something so i'm about to get him a little cup of water from Dang, I literally haven't even looked in the mirror so I don't even know what I look like but this is the real raw uh, the real raw real deal I texted my mom like are you awake because usually my mom awake at this time she hasn't texted back I did text my doula and let her know that um, where the contractions are Oh, I did let her know that um, so she could just be prepared it is four o'clock in the morning which is actually kind of nice because that means that like everyone who will be helping me will be pretty well uh, That is no joke. It's no joke at all. It's literally no joke at all. <laughs> Jay's um, water is almost finished and I'm about to go just either sit in the bath or stand in the shower or something and also just like clean myself up because if I go into labor in the next few hours, I'm tracking everything on my little, ooh, my flashlight's on, on my little app. If I go into labor into the next couple hours, um, I want to be clean. You guys know me. I want to be clean and fresh. So <laughs> I'm going to go take a shower. I also, my water hasn't broke yet. So I'm wondering if I'm going to be one of those people where the water never breaks. Um, because I've been having contractions consistently. And no water breakage. I have, like, I swear, you guys, I swear I was leaking amniotic fluid. But I went to go get checked. And she said that it was, like, just discharged. But I swear, like something in my like gut feels like that's not true do you know what i mean because like it's i don't know I, I i don't know how to describe it but i just feel like that's not the case i have read some stories where they've gotten checked and then they said that it's not amniotic fluid and then it ends up being amniotic fluid and i'm just like wondering like is it 
is there a possibility i mean i have an appointment on wednesday just in case like nothing progresses faster than that i have an appointment on wednesday so we can see if that's what it is uh, if i don't go into labor sooner but i swear you guys i'm like that has to be amniotic fluid <laughs> Right, you guys here's the deal i've been having contractions all day long like really really bad contractions i thought that like maybe i was just being a baby i don't know you know how people are always like oh well you're first time mom like you don't know anything so i was just thinking i am a first time mom so i might feel like also excuse my voice because sick but i was like i might feel like the contractions are bad and like I'm progressing, but maybe they're really not that bad. <sighs> okay, I thought maybe they're not that bad. And maybe I'm just exaggerating and maybe I'm just like really weak. Like, I don't know. <laughs> but they were like sending me, you guys. Like, I'm shaking. I'm convulsing. It hurts so bad. But they weren't consistent. Like, they weren't getting to like two to three minutes apart. Like, my birth center wants us to be before we like go in there. So I was like, I don't know if I'm just like, is this like false labor? Like, what is it? Like, I just wasn't sure. So when I get there, I'm like holding Jay's hand, like going through contraction. And my midwife is like well if you have to hold his hand you should have called your doula and i'm like oh really and she's like yeah like you should be calling your doula by now and i was like oh i had no idea because i didn't know if i was just like being a wimp basically <laughs> and yeah so anyway she goes to do the cervical checks check and she i'm five centimeters dilated which is nice because i was two the last time they checked like one to two like one and a half um and 90% effaced. So we're doing good, we're making good progress. And it was just nice to know that I wasn't like freaking out and that it was actually time to call the doula because I thought I was like, man, <laughs> I really thought I was gonna do this natural. Like I really thought I was gonna be that girl and it's way harder than I thought. <laughs> and I also thought I was making no progress. So anyway, my nose is so red. Giving birth sick is not gonna be it, you guys. Anyway, so there's like bands in your cervix and mine were like really tight and really hard for the baby to like push through because my water has not broken yet. So <clears throat> she was like, since your water has not broken yet, um, the sac is what's pushing on those bands and it's not actually like the baby's head. So the baby's head would be able to apply more pressure and like break through those bands. But the sac is causing it to kind of like bounce off those bands, right? And not make any progress. So all that work that your body is doing is not making as much progress as it should have. So she broke those bands, hurt, you guys, hurt, hurt. <laughs> Felt like a contraction. But ever since she did that, my contractions have been way more powerful and more consistent. So that was literally like 10 minutes ago. My doula is on her way. I'm gonna hop in the shower and we're gonna have this baby tonight or in like the early hours of the morning tomorrow, which is wild. So I'm gonna shower and Jay and I are probably gonna finish just like picking up. I'm gonna relax with the doula 
and we're just gonna buy it probably watch the office to be honest um maybe eat some snacks but yeah it's tough but it's you know <laughs> it is what it is so i'm gonna get myself together i think i am gonna straighten my hair usually i wouldn't do that but because like i just don't have it in like that ugly bun any longer and i just don't have the time to like finger coil it blow dry it like you <laughs> like i don't have the time to do all of that i can straighten it just blow dry it out really quickly and then like leave it like that for like two three days which will probably be nice i honestly should have gotten it braided but too much has been going on um so yeah that's what we're gonna do i straighten my hair even though i'm not supposed to i'm pregnant i'm going into labor don't stress me about it okay anyway we got a dave's hot chicken here and i've been eating it because i swear the spicy chicken is what's pushing me through labor i can't even lie um my doula is here wonderful we've been chatting through i've been literally interrogating her with all the questions <laughs> ever about what's going to happen to me because now i finally have someone who can instead of google can like actually tell me the real um so yeah i'm making my chicken i'm gonna have some apples and peanut butter afterwards did my hair so i can look a little cuter contractions are getting closer together we go back to the birth center when they're two to three minutes apart so right now we are at average 45 seconds per and then we're at 455 average so we need to get down to three two to three preferably which feels like that's going to take forever but who knows <laughs> i don't know how quickly that goes but um yeah jay's cleaning up the house while i just rock out and vibe so when there's another update i'll bring you guys along i think i'm gonna have another contraction just got here. I am starving so I make myself some food. She hasn't really gotten to the point where she's like pushing extra hard but uh you might be able to hear in the background but uh yeah I'm feeling uh just anxious a little overwhelmed but really excited to meet the baby. Um she's gonna get all comfortable and changed into you know what she needs to get changed into and then you know we're gonna kind of get this thing you know uh underway. Um, but yeah, really excited to, to meet the baby. Really, really excited. Really tired. She's in there. She's having contractions right now. So I'm going to try to film as much as I can, but also, you know, try to be present as much as I can too. So um, I'll try to get all the footage I can, um, especially when we really get started right now. She's just going through contractions. Um, I don't know how many minutes they are apart, but um, not enough to where she needs to start to be in, you know, like active labor where she's pushing. But again, I'm about to eat this food. And then I'll check back in with you guys later. Room. I just finished my food. I haven't eaten all day. It is nine o'clock. Nine, almost ten o'clock. Ten o'clock now. Um, but yeah, just here supporting Nia. Uh, what you? Oh. <clears throat> Here's the tea. What's the tea? Six centimeters dilated, contractions. Very tired, like would love to go to sleep, but we'll see if that happens. She just put this peanut ball here. Um, and that's supposed to help me in the position that I'm in because I've been avoiding laying on my side because the contractions I get when I lay on my side are literally the worst, yeah, like the worst. Like, I've been avoiding it, but she was like, you need to just dig deep and, and get to it, so. Mm -hmm. That is what I'm doing. I'm gonna watch The Office on my phone, maybe drink some water, probably, oh. Okay. Good, nice slow breathing.
you doing here? I'm just gonna try to relax that face. You got this. See, I told you guys not like laying on my side but it's a must to get things moving it is not the vibe i'll tell you that right now so hopefully we do some more of that because even though the contractions hurt they're what get us to the finish line so i'm gonna watch the office eat some apples and mind my business <laughs> very strong and it's not I'm mean, 8 centimeters and it's not going anywhere yet so we've got to get it out of here so that's what we're focused on all right ready to go <laughs> I've been texting her this whole time. My mom? Mm -hmm. Oh. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she couldn't contact me? She's wide awake. No, no, no. I just, I'm the one who reached out to her. Yeah. Okay. She's like, she has me back in two seconds because I'm wide awake. <laughs> she hasn't been sleeping for days. Of course not. Because the past work. couple of days I kept being like, oh, like I'm having contractions. So I'll text her at like four in the morning. She's like, yes. <laughs> Hi. I'm right here. Is he here? So Is my grandson here? She can't wait. She's oh, gonna yeah. freak out. I'm so excited. Go ahead and lift your bum if you can, as high as you can. Oh, this thing says infant. Sorry, I don't even know. Good. 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 Then I'm gonna put. Oh no, you need that. Thing. You wanna roll to your side? Back on the thing. Mama Cub, isn't that nice? Yeah. I'm gonna just put a depends on you so you don't get like super messy. Good, yeah. That's the way. Nope, all out your bum. Nothing out your mouth. Down, down, down. Good. That's the way. Did I 
job. Wow. That's it. Just a little. Here comes your baby, Nia. Good work, Mama. Here he comes. Oh my goodness. Happy birthday.